you know, I, I kind of wanted to take a, a year off and um, see see what um, my niche in life was, and I decided to go into car sales. I was uh, working for a high-end um, dealership, Acura, and um, they had to close their business. Yeah. So what, what happened after that? Um, after that, you know, um, I've been trying to um, just find work. So i um, trying to support myself with working and trying to go back to school. Rent's extremely high in the Inland Empire, I would say, for the location and for the kind of jobs you can get here. Um, I, what I've been seeing a lot is also a high percentage living at home, but also living in garages, mostly wow. converting their garages into um, rooms. So it's not embarrassing anymore to live at home with your folks? Uh, I wouldn't say so. No, it's, it's uh, more humbling. What, what's happening, I think, a lot is um, unemployment is now paying more than you, you going to work, to be honest with you. It's, 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 it's a little hard, but harsh to say, but um, in order for me to work and to pay my bills um, at minimum wage, I wouldn't be able to make it. So right now, unemployment's the best way to go because the jobs out there aren't even beating unemployment. Correct. I know a lot of the guys are playing video games and stuff, I've heard. That's right. <laughs> Lots of video games. But um, what are the girls doing? They don't play video games. No. We, we mostly, most of us uh, don't play video games. Girls like to shop. We like to shop. But then you, if you don't have money, what do you do? Um, we don't shop. Window shop. We window shop. That's right. <laughs> so I'm just wondering, what do what do what is a typical girl in Southern California that you know money's tight, parent t t money's tight with the parents? What do you do to kill the time? That's what I really like to know. Right. See, it's 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 a it's it's that's when the real sacrifice uh, happens because you start looking for you know different things to do now. Um, I don't know. I would say in that aspect, life is getting a, a little bit more quality because now you're spending more time walking in parks with your friends, talking, talking about the economy, talking about how you can relate to them and stuff like that. <laughs> Strange, huh? Right. You know, I, I go visit my friends, my girlfriends at their house and, and chit chat there. And, you know, sometimes if they live close to a park, sure, we'll go out, you know, if it's across the street. But um, no, it's it's definitely you know it's all in the uh, the eye of the beholder. We don't, you know, I don't I don't think it's much ghetto to talk to your friends or or stuff like that. I think in that it's giving us more more uh, depth in life. This this econo economic economic turn. Guys have a hard time with relationships now, especially with girls because we go. it costs so much to be in a relationship. <laughs> you have to take them. Keep out. playing it. You know, it's cost thirty, forty dollars. Right. You have to drive a nice car. Now we have a whole set of guys that it's like, they we don't have jobs. We're just uh, playing video games. Right. What, I mean, what's the secret here? I mean, you think women? You think women or young ladies? Um, uh, perception of what a relationship should be is changing. I mean, what are you guys looking for in guys now? Now we're just looking for them to um, stick around. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> no. Um, they got to have a car at least to pick you up, you know? <laughs> right. And um, sometimes they don't. Sure. You know, I was talking to one of my girlfriends last night and she says, you know, um, I, ex I expected him to um, buy, a, buy a car maybe with his tax money or maybe, um, um, you know, help me out a little bit because um, she's currently um, pregnant. And um, oh yeah, so she just says, you know, but I don't want any of that now. I just, I just want him to um, feel like he knows what he wants. A lot of people are guessing what they want now out of life because of the economy. They don't know if they want to be in a relationship now. And I think the economy has a lot to do with it. Uh, I think it comes down to a personal matter. Um, you know, I personally would, would um, love to to be married at, at whenever it comes, 20s, 30s. But I do see that from men in their in their 30s, just not not wanting to maybe get get um, get married as soon because maybe the economy, maybe they want to get all their ducks in order, and it's just taking okay. them a little bit just longer. Just keep playing it. You know, I know people that have been married <laughs> 10 there, or 12, some 12 years, I have to add to and they're this. having this to go back with their parents. Yeah. See, that puts a strain on your relationship, doesn't right, it? Right, right. But this is, you know, I, I've, I've seen the medical, uh, medical marijuana industry really help out young young males in this way, you know? They, they can, if they do it the legal way, they can definitely, you know, um, uh, you know, buy a buy a house or you know um, they have the economic and, means to do things right to do and in the right ways right when you wake up in the morning what's the biggest thing you're thinking about 
Um, to be honest, I think that it, for myself, it's, it is myself, uh, to better myself, how I can, what are the opportunities out there, what could I do different that I did yesterday that will lead Fantastic. me to that um, And we'll go ahead and pause it there because this is the uh, optimistic still, side. Still this is the conscious aspect, what she's talking about. Okay, so things are tough. So you start looking at new doorways of reality, of, of experience. Uh, you start looking at relationships differently. Uh, you look at uh, perhaps your own life differently. What you want to do with your life is say you lost your job, your crappy job. I might want to add at that horrible software company. Uh, uh, and there's actually some women that are choosing to not strip anymore because the dollars aren't coming in like they used to. And it's getting just a little bit creepy. So, I mean, there's a number of factors with the economy melting down that cause some people to go, hmm, maybe this isn't working for me the way that it used to. Now here's what I want to add, and uh, I'll try to be brief. There are a lot of men that want to settle down right now, that want to be in love, that want to, for the very best of their ability, be with someone that they care about. But there's other factors that have to be taken into consideration. We live in a country right now where you turn on your local newscast, even the local newscast here, and three stories playing back to back is about a man abducting a woman and raping her and maybe her baby. It's pretty disgusting and it's very out of balance and it's not in the proper context. So it seems to the person watching it that the men of the earth have gone mad. And the truth of the matter is, this is a planet encompassing billions of people Men and women are both equally responsible for the type of world that comes into manifestation. So on this show, I try to provide some extra perspective on why things are the way that they are and some other areas we might want to look at, like appreciating the true powerful female that exists out there and the true powerful male that exists out there. But we see the world looking uh, and glamorizing and propping up uh, the distorted female and the distorted male. Just look at what's on TV today and how the feminine goddess image is constantly under some sort of attack and how a man, a tough man, a strong man, he's like some uh, tattooed uh, ex-prison uh, MMA fighter that's out for blood in the octagon. And then you see this stuff over and over and over again, and it becomes a part of that person's behavior. Monkey see, monkey do. If it's in the subconscious, it may come out in the behavior. So, mindful relationships. Men making that decision. Uh, they're looking for a woman that has more internal beauty than just simply external beauty. A man that's not simply going out there to get laid. A man that wants to meet a beautiful woman that actually still has the ability to feel, to talk, to communicate. Now the other side, a woman, a woman becoming more conscious, choosing to not go for the bad guy, to not go for just someone who's making an income, but someone where a relationship can be built upon, or at the very least a friendship. That's another conversation to get into the difference between relationship and friendship and the beauty of friendships without the relationship aspect. The beauty of being brothers and sisters uh, on a planet that does have beauty despite the bombs that are being dropped. We have the power to change all of this overnight. If you want to test how conscious we're becoming, look at how men and women relate to each other in the bedroom, in the realm of dating. Despite all this crap going on, like the song says, all we need is love. And so it is my humble opinion that people can whine and whine and whine. I see Bill very uh, shaking his head. But I hope all this stuff connects together in terms of how we understand human behavior. And uh, we ask ourselves, what can we do to become more conscious, more loving, more mindful, and not just blame the new world order, not just get pissed off because there's chemtrails. When you build community, when you work with others, uh, when two or more meet, uh, when you have that exchange, uh, simply as friends, as brothers and sisters, it, it creates an energy, and we need more of this in Portland, frankly, because this town is taxing on my nerves and serenity. But I understand that's their deal, that's their beef. If they want to look down at the ground and, and everybody wants to just sit there and scowl and, and spit all over themselves, you know, that's, that's their own prerogative, that's their own perspective. We'll take that phone call in 30 seconds or less. But we all have free will. We don't have to become a zombie. We don't have to become infected by the, the virus of apathy. Uh, again, 
we are looking towards uh, a greater reality of respecting ourselves, respecting men, respecting women, respecting animals, respecting the earth. And we have to call out some of the darkness that exists in our society if we want to move out of that despotism and into something a little bit more mindful, a little bit more enlightening, a little bit more enjoyable. Enjoyable, Like the song says, all we need is love. If you can come together and maintain those friendships without getting into these labels and boxes, if you have the maturity to do so, I highly recommend you do so. Otherwise, lest you lose the few relationships that you have. And all everywhere I'm looking, I'm seeing relationships and meltdown. I'm seeing single people that are pretty, that don't have the social skills to go out and meet the people that they want. And I see conditioning taking place that, that teaches men, be afraid of women, don't go out and approach them. And they saw these news reports about people getting sexually assaulted. And it makes it complicated for the good people out here in this world to shine because they're taught and they're, they're taught by TV and the peer pressure groups and the mind control don't shine. Don't shine like a star. Be dirt. Be dirt like everybody else. Who do you think you are to shine like the stars? We live in a society where some people hate beauty, love, and life, light. So they scowl at someone they perceive as being beautiful when they walk across them in the street because they think they think they're better than them. See, I go through it all the time. It's like, why do you have to glare? I don't have more money than you. I literally have 25 cents in my pocket. Why glare with so much passion? And this is the state of consciousness that Portland, Oregon is in at this time. But I challenge anyone, I will wrap it up, Bill, next week. Um, I challenge anyone out there to call in and challenge me and tell me where the conscious hub actually happens to be. But there are things that are constantly changing, and these challenges we're going through a curve. We could come out on a brighter side, but we're going through things because we're supposed to learn from them. Now, there is a gathering coming up. It's called the Rainbow Family Gathering, which typically comprises a lot of very different people that have traveled from all around the world. Now, of course, things happen whenever there's a party or a get-together, and you do have to be very, very safe about what, what type of company you travel with, just like anywhere else in the world. But there's going to be a lot of people coming to the Portland area. Actually, it's 90 miles east of Portland for the Rainbow Family Gathering. People that uh, have certain ideals, uh, like a non-monetary based economy where you barter skills, things of that nature. So if you are interested in something interesting this summer, and you do need to get out of the zombie apocalypse Portland, Oregon epicenter, I highly recommend you uh, take a look at uh, the website, the Rainbow website, for where that's going to be located. It's going to be 90 miles again east of Portland, Oregon from July 1st to the 8th. And so with that, we're going to go ahead and go to the first phone call of the evening, and then uh, we will try to get uh, through some of this news. Go ahead, caller. Yeah, I think you should go to that Rainbow Gathering thing. Yeah, stay out there what else? Stay out of Portland. Yeah, it's really? So uh -huh. Yeah. How much dope did you smoke tonight? Big fat bowl or a little bowl? You had some crack on that, too. Thank you for your call. 503-288-4442. And with that, we'll go ahead and start covering the other pieces of news. One thing that Richard Mack had mentioned earlier uh, was the fact that some sheriffs are being asked by the system, by the big banks, uh, to go knocking on doors, trying to collect, trying to strong arm, in particular women. There's a lot of stories of women being harassed. Um, and uh, having their doors knocked on, which I find to be a little bit disturbing. Um, but uh, there's a lot of reports that are out in the news right now, or maybe the news is just covering the reports uh, affecting women, the main, mainstream report, because uh, perhaps more people will care if it happens to a woman as opposed to a man. Uh, but this is happening um, across the board. People having their doors knocked on, and uh, sheriffs in some cases bring up graphic number 44, arresting people for failing to pay their debts in Minnesota. This has been happening a lot. Um, traditionally, it's been known as uh, some of the most credit-friendly laws, uh, to have some of the most credit-friendly laws in the country. The use of arrest warrants against debtors has jumped 60% over the past four years. Consumer attorneys say such arrests are increasing in many states, including Arkansas, Arizona, and Washington, driven by a bad economy, high consumer debt, and a growing industry that buys bad debts and employs every means available to collect. And um, it goes on and on and on. 
Uh, one thing I want to say, though, in reference to last caller, no offense at all to anyone smoking marijuana. That was not intended there. It's just that sometimes the effect of marijuana and other drugs and alcohol causes uh, some brain cells and some people that are watching Access TV to self-destruct. So he might just actually start defecating out of his mouth because the brain cells are, are in some sort of